queens and handsome kings doing the day. As you can see, I was just sitting here making me some breakfast. Um, so today is actually a work day for me. I'm just sitting here, you know, have the strength to get up. I said, you know what, let me fix me some breakfast because it'd be plenty of times where I sit here. I know I haven't really been having no full appetite lately. So I be trying to put some on my stomach to keep so I can keep going. Um, I normally don't hardly really eat that much at work, so I always try to like to, you know, make sure when I do be at home, try to, you know, fix me something to put on my stomach. So pull me up a little of this two percent milk in my little snowman cup. I'm just drink milk with my breakfast. Sometimes I, when I have orange juice on hand, I usually like to drink a, a glass of juice or milk with my breakfast. But yeah, um, I just wanted to come in and introduce the vlog. Yeah, I actually just woke up. So if it sound like I, you know, if it sound like I'm not really energized, it's because I, I just actually just woke up, y'all. And another thing, I want to tell y'all to please be careful. These, um, y'all know it's a lot of scamming going on. If they not scamming people, uh, you know, on the internet, they calling folks' cell phones and, you know, trying to get you the... You know, I, I had to hurry up and hang the, uh oh, God, I'm sorry, I'm on my hand out the camera. I had to hurry up and hang the phone up. I had a, um, I had a man call my phone a while ago. That's really what got me up because I was trying to get another little extra 30 minutes of sleep in. And he called my phone. I hurry up and told him I gotta go to work. It, it's ridiculous. People already don't have nothing. And struggling, you know, trying to make ends meet. And you sitting here trying to call and scam them out some money. Go so tell me, Kanisha, we want a $50 gift card. I hear up on the phone because I already knew what we were going to ask next. Folks work too hard for their money for people to be calling and trying to scam them up out of. It's really sad. Also, I had went to, um, 
and their video is not up yet. I actually recorded their video yesterday, but we'll be dropping soon. I did go to Mud Alley yesterday, you all. It's really sad. I don't know if it's just a thing here in Memphis. How they let certain stuff go down and they constantly build and stuff. My little island, I think, probably will be the oldest part out of all the parts that I, you know, I have showed you all in my um, video. And it's sad that it don't even look like a park no more. But I did do a little, a little video on there. I'm going to show it to you all when I upload it. It's, it's, it's like all the water. It don't look like a river park. All the water and the, the little water fountains, like the, they used to have water that shoot out the uh, ground, out the pool, all that's gone. But I'm thinking that they about to remodel because when I walked over there, it was some mans over there, you know, construction workers. But it's, it, it don't make sense. You know, you all constantly building new stuff. Study trying to fix up the old properties and stuff like that. Cause and then another thing what really touched me when I went over there is so many homeless people over there. When I say the homeless rate is really rising here in Memphis, it's, it's, it's really sad. Like I was talking to my friend, she called me yesterday on my break at work and we was talking. You know, it's really sad. It, it, these people should have somewhere to go. It's it's cold outside and. You know, and, and I always said if I ever was blessed, I, I there's one thing I, pr I said to myself, if I ever, you know, Lord bless me or, you know, for a higher paying job, I, I want to reach out and give back to the, you know, to my community. Because it's really sad. You got these people in these offices and these seats and they just don't have no care in the world. The homeless race shouldn't be like it is. Even the park that... I go to a lot uh, with the family that I use to take you all on with me. It's, it's, it's more and more homeless people standing in the park. And and it's just, you know, I've been trying not to get teary eyed because I'm one of the types of people that I get really emotional when I see something that's, you know, heartbreaking to me. And it's just sad, you know. They're constantly building high-rise apartments here. They're not making nothing affordable. You know, they want you to be making, my coworker told me it's three times. Now it used to be two times the, the rent. Now, you know, but y'all, yeah, still y'all not uh, making nothing. They're not making nothing affordable. And then the, on top of that, the jobs don't want to have to pay you nothing. But it, it's, it's really sad. I hope and pray that things do get better, you know, because I, I just never seen nothing like it, you know, for a city to claim that they don't have much, don't have this and that, but you constantly building. Yet still, they study building hotels here because they talking about there's not enough hotels to hold, you know, like when they have big functions here. And, you know, but my thing is you can constantly keep building hotels, but what's the point of keep constantly building all these hotels when people, some people don't want to come back to work? You don't have enough staff as it is. And then the ones that are working, they being overworked and being underpaid. So it's just, it's really sad, y'all. But I, you know, I'm after I get through my breakfast, I'm going to get into my word because I haven't been reading my Bible the last couple of days. Like I said, it's just been a very, very um, busy week for me. I've been working all this week. Like I say, I go in today, but I'm going to, you know, make some time and read my Bible after I get through eating my breakfast. But yeah, I'm going to, um, mm -mm, I have a waste for a piece of beet on me. But yeah, I'm going to come back in and chat with you all. So I'm going to just go on and finish eating my breakfast and I'm going to come back in to talk to you all.
Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just made my bed up, put my work uniform on. I had to just put my badge on. So what I'm going to do is going to probably put my makeup on my face, going to make my face up, and then sleep my edges. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is um, after I leave my daughter's program for school, her little Christmas program, I'm going to take my hair down and wash it and redo it over. But, yeah, I'm just going to go on and put my makeup on and and slick my hair.